Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone 2001 The game that started it all Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, also known as Philosopher's Stone in the US, was released in November 2001 for PC, Mac, PlayStation, and handheld platforms. The game introduced eight different spells across platforms, including Flipendo for pushing objects, Alohomora for opening doors, Wingardium Leviosa for making objects fly, and Lumos for illumination, among other spells. While the game had a lot of cutscenes and characters had little resemblance with the movie, it fared pretty well. The game made more than 2 million copies in sales. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets 2002. The second installment of the series saw almost similar gameplay with slightly better graphics. It also introduced a way to save the game by running towards books kept at strategic places. The game started with Harry and Ron running into Whomping Willow and then takes the player through a journey of exploring Hogwarts Castle. The game sold 3.5 to 4 million copies worldwide. However, for some unknown reason, this game is not available in Origin Store today. In the Harry Potter store, they have every other game but this one. Strange, right? So if you want to play this game, either buy it from Amazon with a hefty price tag or go for a second-hand copy. Harry Potter and the Quidditch World Cup 2003 J.K. Rowling not only created an entire fantasy world full of interesting characters, she also invented a sport known as Quidditch, which we all know is kind of a broomsticky weird version of soccer. In Quidditch World Cup, the player mostly plays as a seeker, roaming around on a chosen broomstick, a Comet 260, Nimbus 2000, Nimbus 2001, or a Firebolt. But the game is interesting, it got mixed reviews from the market and made the developers go back to following the script of the books henceforth. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban 2004 The third installment of the Harry Potter series was refreshing. The characters now closely resembled the books and somewhat the actors. The graphic was improved a lot. However, the game was kind of a system hog at that time. It introduced a few new spells including Carpet Attractum for pulling objects and Stelius to cause sneezing. This was also a game where player could play as all three characters Harry, Ron and Hermione apart from Hedwig and also a dragon. The game received positive response with GameSpot giving it 7.5 out of 10. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire 2005 With the arrival of You Know Who, the fourth installment of the series changed the gameplay from a third-person sandbox to a weird perspective view. This was a bad decision as most gamers weren't used to this style of gaming in computer games at that time and it received a mixed reaction. However, with the enhanced graphics compared to The Prisoner of Azkaban, the game offered great storyline including group casting of spells and host of new creatures that are mentioned in the book. Keeping consistent with the storyline, the game featured underwater swimming, the famous pensive, and ended with a Triwizard tournament leading to the return of Voldemort. Perfect. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix 2007 with a gap of one year, Order of the Phoenix was released with the movie. The developers reverted back to the third-person sandbox style of the first three games after receiving flack for changing it. The characters now resembled closely with the actors in the movie 
and the game featured majestic landscape of Hogwarts and its exteriors. The game hosted the largest variety of spells so far, including Accio, Stupefy, Rectosempra, and Petrificus Totalus. It received a mixed response from the critics, but overall performed well compared to the previous versions. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince 2009. The sixth version of the game included new elements in gameplay such as making potions, Marauder's Map and Herbology Classroom. The game also included Quidditch matches and a different, darker version of Hogwarts. It received mixed response from the industry and fans who were already angry at the movie omitting a large portion of the book which was reflected in the game too. LEGO Harry Potter CF 1-4 2010 LEGO video games became popular among young stars and so Harry Potter entered the LEGO world with this game. Featuring usual LEGO based characters and environment, the game was popular among kids and received a positive response. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 2010 Taking cue from the feedback of Half-Blood Friends, Warner Brothers surprised everyone by splitting Deathly Hallows into two parts. The game followed the same. The graphics and the characters looked amazing and the game started with Harry deflecting Death Eaters and included a lot of modern gaming patterns including wizard versions of headshots, stealth missions, using polyjuice potions and invisibility cloak. However, the game received negative reviews from critics, with Guardian giving it 2 out of 5. A bit unfair, we say. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, 2011. The final installment of Harry Potter series ended with the famous battle between Harry and Voldemort. However, unlike its movie counterpart, it failed to ignite the excitement among the fans and critics. Similar to previous version, it received a fairly negative rating because of the similar and repetitive encounters throughout the game and the AI being extremely poor resulting in easy gameplay. LEGO Harry Potter Years 5-7 2011. With the release of all mainstream Harry Potter films, the developers completed the LEGO versions as well. It was kind of similar to its predecessor and received overall positive response from critics. However, for some unknown reason, it did not shift with the online play version for consoles that were supported in the previous installation. Harry Potter for Kinect 2011 Acknowledging the popularity of wands among young wizards, a Kinect version of Harry Potter was released which focused on dwells and spellcasting. It was one of the most popular Kinect game at the time and was exclusive for Xbox 360. Book of Spells 2012 For PlayStation fans, a separate version of the game was released for PlayStation VR, where using a VR-enabled book, players could cast multiple spells and experience a journey through the wizarding world. The game received mixed reviews, but was popular among kids at that time. Book of Potions 2013 Steaming with the success of the previous installment, a follow-up game was released. This time, focus was on making potions for PlayStation VR. It received positive reviews from the critics and did well among PlayStation fans. Fantastic Beasts and Cases from the Wizarding World 2016 after making fans wait for almost three years, 
the prequel of Harry Potter was released for the mobile platforms, which by 2016 had started taking shape. However, it was kind of a step-by-step -step card based game as mobile games weren't exactly too powerful back then. In this game, the player handles new recruits and investigates unexplained events. Although the game is no longer available, it did pretty well for mobile games at the time. Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery 2018 The first fully featured Harry Potter mobile game was released in 2018. The game was set as a prequel to Harry Potter novels and players could use their customized avatar to experience Hogwarts life. It featured four years of spells, Quidditch, and Venturing or Wizarding World. The game received mixed reviews and is available even today for Android and iOS for free. Harry Potter Wizards Unite 2019 The first mobile-based Harry Potter augmented reality game was released in 2019. It followed similar script as Pokemon Go and allowed the player to find and fight against mythical beasts based on geographical location. The game received positive reviews from its fans and is still available for Android and iOS for free. Harry Potter Puzzles and Spells 2020 A Harry Potter puzzle game was released in 2020. The game features all famous Harry Potter characters and the player has to solve puzzles using spells and magic. It has done pretty well so far with a 4 plus rating on Play Store. It is presently available for both Android and iOS. Harry Potter 2021 A new version of Harry Potter RPG rumored to hit the stores in 2021. While not much is known about the game, there's a footage available on the internet that shows some gameplay elements which, unfortunately, we cannot show here for copyright reasons. From the initial reports, it is being developed by Avalanche Software and is set to expand the spells we know so far, including the three unforgivable spells. The game is supposed to have character customizations and have modern graphics with redesigned characters for modern gaming systems. That's all out for now. If you enjoyed the video, Please like and subscribe to the channel. Meet you soon with another gaming evolution video. Till then, goodbye and take care.